Howdy, Beast Nation. This is uh, General Driggers once again here to talk about outward mindset. Uh, in the previous episodes, we talked about a mission focus versus a blame focus. We talked about inward mindset and toxic leader behaviors and how to break out of some of those behaviors, uh, first of all, by focusing on being an, uh, outward. And I want to talk a little bit about uh, a kind of an old school leadership principle, and that is uh, bold and intrusive leadership. And what that really comes down to is seeing your people. Uh, we've heard it said before that you need to get to know your people's stories. And I just want to tell a quick story about an incident that, uh, that I know about to maybe share why that's important and, and what can happen whenever you take an outward-minded stance in leadership and uh, in, in the work that you do with folks. The fundamental premise is if you get to know somebody's stories, then you can better understand their wants and their needs and objectives. And you're not just making assumptions about those needs and objectives, but you're really getting into the substance of who they are and what they need um, and what they're challenged with. Uh, in a previous life, I knew a service member uh, who struggled to complete his work. He was, a, he was, a sched he was in the scheduling shop and uh, did a great job, but was only able you know, throughout the course of his day to get about 85% of the schedule done. What he did was fantastic work, and he was absolutely known for having super awesome computer skills. But he'd reach a point in the time of the day, and then he would have to leave and go off and take care of some other business. And when he did, uh, he'd leave 15 to 20% of the schedule kind of undone. And it created some serious challenges for the next day for folks to manage in execution. Now, there's one way to do this, you know, think about the top of the influence pyramid, and that would have been to just simply change the behavior. So uh, start doing paperwork or start uh, making some of those changes. Um, and that probably may or may not have actually worked because we didn't really know the wants, needs, and objectives of this particular individual and what was leading to that behavior. Uh, at the time, the, the leader in charge uh, decided to actually start a little lower on the influence pyramid. Now, I'm pretty sure that individual didn't necessarily know the influence pyramid, uh, but this is, it's what he did. And so he started to ask questions and get to know and get, to cur get a little more curious about this individual. In short, he got to know the scheduler's story. Uh, turns out the scheduler had a severe family situation that demanded his attention, but for whatever reason, he was concerned about the impact of raising it to anyone's attention and leadership. And so he stayed quiet about it. But once this leader started to ask the question, he began to learn about this severe family situation. And it was really, uh, really important that we as a military family took action to be able to help. Armed with that knowledge, the leader began to work out other ways to support the scheduler. In fact, he moved the scheduler to a different location. And because he knew that this individual was super good with uh, computer skills, he moved him into a particular area that needed his expertise. But it was also a place where he would have the scheduling flexibility, where he'd have the daytime flexibility to be able to go tend to his family needs. In the end, the unit won out because they got after some significant challenges they needed because of his computer skills. And this individual got the time that they needed to be able to take care of the business they needed to take. So perhaps getting to know your folks may open interesting opportunities to enhance your team's performance, to be able to enhance their performance, and be able to help them maybe uh, tackle a challenge that uh, maybe they didn't know how to tackle without that help from a supervisor. At the very least, your folks are known that they're seen and heard, uh, and that's something that goes a long way to building and sustaining trust, which really is so important right now that we build and sustain trust uh, up and down the chain of command. So hope you're doing it good on your journey to continue to strive to be outward. Remember, this is your journey. Uh, we don't need to be looking at other people and pointing out their inwardness. This is when we work on trying to focus on our own ability to be outward and then to share that outwardness and invite others to be outward as well. So good luck on your journey. And until next time, we're talking outward mindset. Take care, Beast Nation.